Hey guys, this is Jada with Impact Defense. And this is Kylie. And today we're going to talk about the Munio Kubaton Self-Defense Tool. And today we're going to be reviewing the Munio Kubaton Safety Keychain. So first, right off the bat, you see that it is made in the USA, which we always love products produced by the US. Super simple to open. Now a couple things about it, right off the bat, there are a lot more patterns than just this one. I think this is the modern flower design. Um, so a viewer asked us about this product, and so we got one just to see uh, what the fuss was about. So right on the front, it says it's actually recommended by law enforcement and self-defense professionals. That would include martial artists and um, actually some military officials. So, so the name Munio actually means I protect or I defend. So A plus on the name so far. Some of the big things about this one, this is actually a really high grade plastic. So it's made of lightweight ABS thermoplastic, uh, which is actually used in tactical safety headgear. Uh, and there are several videos that show people like setting this up on something and hitting it with a hammer and it not actually breaking. So the functionality of this product, you don't really have to worry about it breaking while you're using it, which is actually really surprising with how light and easy it is. One of the things about carrying other tactical cubitons that we've seen is that they are very heavy. So when you put them on your keychain, it makes your keychain very um, inconvenient to carry around. And this one doesn't do that. It's very lightweight. So that's a good start. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the plastic so that I'm not just swinging, the, the <laughs> swinging it carrying case around. So here it is. It comes with these three rings. So I guess you never have to worry about not being able to carry all of your keys on this. It fits in your hand pretty nicely. Uh, do you wanna hold it? We have slightly different hand sizes. Not much. All right, so the functionality, it says that this is to be used in a hammer fist type position for this kind of motion or to hold while you swing your keys. And for someone who has a ton of keys on their keychain, like me, that might actually be effective. There are lots of reviews online that show people puncturing um, like metal cans and stuff with this. So it just leaves a little hole punctured in the can. Some of the advantages of this, this can actually be taken on an airplane, whereas like metal coupons and things cannot. So this is actually airplane safe. So if you travel a lot, this is probably your best self-defense option if you want to actually take something with you. Because if you look through a list, you can't take a gun on the airplane, you can't take pepper spray on an airplane, you can't take a stun gun on an airplane, you can't take a metal coupon on an airplane, you can't even take a personal alarm on an airplane, which I found strange. So this is a non-lethal option that is effective against attacks from behind, from in front, more of a like mid to close range. So you're not gonna get any kind of distance on this. This is just within arm's reach. There's no risk of mechanical failure. There's no shelf life worry. So you're, it, it's not like something that you would have to put batteries in um, or check and see if it's still up to date, like pepper spray. It just works and it works consistently and it doesn't just fall apart after time. There are at least 19 different color or design options for this and there is even one or several American flag design options. So if you're just feeling extra patriotic, those could be the ones for you. You can take this with you not only to airplanes but to concerts and like football games or um, any kind of sporting event that you would not normally be able to take a self-defense item, this is made of high-grade plastic. So you can actually take it to those events and it'd be perfectly fine. All right, so now that we've got plenty of facts, we're just gonna kind of talk about what we've personally thought about it. Well, whenever you first handed it to me and I actually got it in my hand, it's, it, it's, it's really light and everything. I could see myself hitting with it, but it's like these edges whenever you're like grabbing on really tight. For my bony fingers, they kind of hurt. So it does fit comfortably in my hand. The only thing is when I'm like squeezing it like really hard is that the edge right here is like cutting into this because I'm really bony. But other than that, it's really good. I feel like it could probably do some damage. Now compared to the um, tactical pen and everything, 
For me, that's probably more comfortable than this just because how wide it is, but that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, I'd say we grab something and hit stuff with this. <laughs> Unless you want to, you know, talk to. I like it. I definitely see what you're saying about um, that lump in the middle. I think that's probably that area is just so that your fingers don't slip down when you go through but definitely because of the thinness and lightness of the plastic it could definitely I, I, I could definitely see it being slightly uncomfortable when you're actually um, hitting something with it now whether you would feel that under the effects of adrenaline I don't know probably it, it, it probably won't be as big of a thing if you're under the effects of adrenaline adrenaline where you're not gonna feel as much anyway I mean one thing about it is it doesn't take a whole lot of training to make this work it's put in your hand and slam it into something there's not much else that goes into it which means that it's a very versatile product for lots of people um, it's actually recommended by the NRA's refuse to be a victim program so that's impressive all right let's hit stuff with it Oh. All right, so the first hit, that's kind of what I did to it. How did it feel when you hit? It felt good. Okay. I'm terrified yeah. Of yeah, that would do some damage. That would definitely do some damage. All right, try the tactical pin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so there's the tactical pin, there's the Munio, okay, which steel, that's, that's puncture, that's, that's penetration. Yeah. <laughs> which one feels more comfortable to hit with? Um, for me, it'd probably be this, mm -hmm. but considering, like, if you can't carry this, yeah, where you're going, you, you, this is probably a really good option. Also, you have, I mean, that's on your keys. Yeah. And you can carry that anywhere. And it would be, if you already have your keys out. That is also a really good option, too. Yeah. Do something sure. better. Yeah. Screw something. Oh, ooh, that one. <laughs> Tactical pin, Munio, right side by side. Mm. So I, 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 take, I think it's quite comparable. It is very mm -hmm. comparable. And although that tactical pin is pretty light because mm -hmm. of the way it's made, that's the Rebel, that's the one we like. Um, that one's probably still lighter, isn't it? Um, I am very impressed. Yeah, it's still lighter. I'm very impressed. Turn, turn that around and hit with the, uh, the blunt end. The blunt end? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're not going to do the same kind of damage, but you don't always want to hit somebody with that end necessarily. Do it again. Yeah. It's still, it's a good solid hit. Yeah. So. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised and impressed. I can definitely see why this is recommended by a lot of professionals. Yeah. And in case you're wondering, yes, it has our stamp of approval too. <laughs> you can find the link for this in the description below. And also, anytime that you use all those links, it actually helps us uh, as a channel. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay alert, and we will see you in the next video. Hang on. The like, subscribe, click the bell notification. That. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>